Hey guys. I'm gonna do a quick live. It's like I got the Packer game on behind my phone. <clears throat> the computer here. Do my sprinkling. How is everybody? Hey, Julie. Happy Sunday. Hey, Darlene. How are you? Okay. I think I got everything. Hey, Leah. Just got home. So, we're going to make this cute little... You're excited? What are you excited about? <laughs> hey, Pamela. How are you? Thank you so much for sprinkling. Yeah, if you guys would like and follow... Oh, to get your package tomorrow. Yay! I'm excited for you. Um, we're going to make some of these snow... I mean, he doesn't look good because he's not sanded. Some snowman ornaments. And I'm just double stacking, so I get two. Wait, on your supper to get down, Albert? Nice. Yeah, I, um, I was on Angie's Live. Hey, Lisa. And she said that uh, Scott was going live at 6 to do the trees, and I've been waiting all weekend for that. So I was like, well, I'm going to go live early because I'm not going to be on long. So this will be... I'm just going to cut out a few. Um, I have almost a whole alphabet set out already, but I'm only going to cut out a couple of these. Hi, Arnetta. Hey, Rebecca. Having a pretty good Sunday. The Packer game is on right behind me so I can... Or right behind the phone here so I can catch the score every once in a while. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Mitzi. Hey, BFF. Um, we're going to cut out a few of these. These are from um, Scroll Saw Artist. I do believe her name is Sue May. Uh, let me do the whole... Hey, John. How is everybody? See, most everybody's getting their text alerts. That's good. Oops. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, if you wouldn't mind sprinkling, spreading the love, blowing the sawdust, whatever you want to call it. Hey, Miss Julie. Trying to grow the text line. It's get it's actually getting pretty good. Text. Oh, and Facebook alert. Guys, I do not get Facebook book alerts unless I'm in the app. Hey, Meg. Which kind of stinks, but there's nothing I can do about it. All right, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and get around all my stuff here. Kind of go a little closer here. Let's see what I'm doing. So I believe I <laughs> blew the sadas. Isn't that cute? Yay. Nope, this is a scroll saw artist pattern. I think it's Sue, Sue May, right? Is that her name? I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Oh, let me grab my paper. Yep, Sue May, scrollsawartist.com. Hey, Joan. Uh, Julie, it is, um, a mess. Not quite sure what's going on. Hey, Christine. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Patricia. Save you a W one, huh? Nice, Christine. Yeah, a lot of people collect snowmen. So, yeah, it's scrollsawartist.com. That's where she's got a ton of patterns. She's... Actually, guys, I did this one. Her lines are super teeny, and I was using the wrong blade, so I broke it. 
Um, this is actually supposed to be two pieces and then they have a little stand that goes between them, but uh, I'm not sure. It might end up being scrap wood. Hey, Miss Abby. Um, and actually that was the day that I was having all the back pain, so I haven't really touched it since. And my back is still not, I'm at maybe 30%, so I'm just, I'm just hanging in there. And a treat, my favorite thing is nature, yeah. Yeah, I know, John, and I don't use spirals because I don't like them, and I, I just screw them up all the time. Uh, I'm not quite sure, Meg. <laughs> I think I might have slipped a disc. We'll have to I we'll have to see if I can get it better. It got better for a few days, and then it um, got worse when I got back on the saw. And then I took yesterday kind of off. I mean, I did the Reese in the morning. Hey, Char. And uh, I did the Reese yesterday, and I rested all night, and I had to sleep sitting up. And, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Today it did not feel good. So there's 19 holes in here, uh, in most of them. So that includes the mouth here. Yeah, it's pretty painful. Hey, Stony Stone. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate that. Um, actually, it feels better when I stand. It hurts when I sit. So, and uh, bending over is a real issue. So I guess we're just gonna kind of hope things get better and if not then I'll just have to force myself to go to the doctor all right let's get cutting because I only got till like 5 55 and then I gotta be off here so I can watch Scott decorate his trees I kind of promised <laughs> so this is just the hole for like a piece of rope a piece of fishing line a little ribbon to hang it from um on it doesn't come with a the back pattern but I can make one so once they're all cut out um, I can always go back and just put it against a piece of wood and then cut it out an inversion table no way Christine I cannot sit I can't um, lay flat ever even uh, I had an MRI on my lower back probably five years ago and they had to weigh me down because I squirm too much because it hurts Actually, I'm, what I'm thinking about is just cutting them out. So, I mean, I did this one so that I could show you guys what it looked like versus just being on the pattern waiting until it's cut and then cutting it out. Um, so, on these, I'm not going to cut around them. And then I'll go back and I'll put two pieces of wood behind them because these are stacked. And then I'll cut out the backs. Hey, Trudy. So a little kind of roundabout way of getting it, getting the back on. But I mean, obviously this one, I'll have to do it separately, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Christine, there's no way. <laughs> hey, Mary, that's okay. Oh, nothing's wrong with my thumb. It's just protection from the blade because I have to touch it a lot when I take the blade out. So my thumb is fine, guys. I didn't cut it. Just can use a lot when I scroll. Uh, actually, Meg, I think it's my vertebrae because the muscles don't hurt. Hey, Joanne. It's my actual spine. 
I mean, I usually get like, hey, Marquita, uh, like shoulder pain because I have to drill all these holes, you know, so going up and down with the drill and drilling the holes. So I'll get um, like shoulder pain and upper arm pain, but nothing like this before. But I can't let it stop me. I got way too much to do. This is my busy season. Hey, Sherry. So I did drill the mouth holes there. They are really close to the line. So I'm just kind of cleaning up that line. Hey, Bonnie. Right? It's super cute. So just widening it, it a little bit, making sure it's clean inside. Yeah, I have one, Trudy. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. I knew you would like these. Um, but it's really hard to line up. I use a handheld because it's really hard to line up the drill press on all these tiny little holes. It's like you got to bring it all the way down, make sure it's in the right spot, then start the drill and drill it. And it's just much, it goes much faster if I do it by hand. And the drill press only has uh, a throat of about six inches or so. So, you know, I would only be able to do this much of the board. And if I had one a little bit further back, I wouldn't be able to. How much are they going to be? $10 because they'll have a back. They'll be stained. The back will be stained a different color, kind of like my the bigger scroll saws pieces. Um, but they're not going to be like the scarf is going to be red, the hat is going to be black, the letter is going to be something else. It'll just be like the scroll saw pieces, the bigger ones. It'll be one color at the back and one color at the front. I might, I'm thinking of just using blue dye for the back. Or red. Or maybe have a couple of each. Right now I'm just doing two of each letter and actually four by six, six of them are going to be for our own family. So. But it is a cute little pattern. What if you make them squares for luminaries? Oh, you mean like the snowman so that it, it would be on a square piece for a luminary? That would be cute. I just have to alter the outside of the Yeah, it is more work. Yeah, they, a luminary would definitely be more expensive. Hold on, let me get this piece out of here. So I can get it out of my way. Need more wood, more cutting. More staining and sanding and all of that. Ooh, even a garland. That would be cute. You could just run the garland right through the hole there. A string. You could build, make another hole. String up Merry Christmas or... Hey, 
Reiki. <laughs> that looks so easy. A lot of practice. Guys, even I screw up. So don't think that scroll saw artists don't ever screw up. Um, that we don't miss a line or go outside the line. Hey, Jill. Vicky, I love that scarecrow wreath. He was so stinking cute. And he looks even so stinking cuter on Angie's door. The Hercules is the best thing? Yeah, it is. I need a D and a B order, please. Do I need to message you privately? Yes, please, Pamela. Yeah, I don't have them on Etsy yet. Guys, I try not to put things on Etsy unless they're completely done. Um, because even I get busy and, um, you know, then things got to get put on the back burner and so they won't get finished for a week or a few days or even a couple weeks. But if you message me, then it's like a uh, major order order. So. Message me your zip code too so I can give you a shipping estimate. They shouldn't be that much. I should be able to ship them in a little envelope so um, that it won't be too expensive. Yeah, I'm not happy about UPS raising their rates and slowing down times. It's kind of like a double edged sword there, like almost double dipping. When I saw your post for these earlier, I didn't notice the letters and they're coming up. Thinking about a mystery box sale or a decent... Oh boy, Trudy. Guys. my blade holder. It's not holding up. Did you mail cross regular mail or UPS? It would be regular mail. You should have got a message from me, uh, Joanne, with your tracking number. Or actually, you ordered on Etsy. It should have went through Etsy. You should have got an email from Etsy, but then I think I also messaged it to you too. Hang on a second, guys. My thingamajig is coming out. I gotta get some Loctite put on it, but I've just been so busy doing everything else, I don't even think about that part. It just loosens up on me every once in a while. One of these is the right one. Again, technical difficulties. Hold on. What in the world? There we go. 
yeah um it's I, i'm pretty sure it was sent by priority so it should only take a few days to get there if you don't get it by tuesday let me know and i will try to check okay so there's the first one we'll do the b now Hey, Darcel. Oops, I think I just bent my blade. Oh, guys, Packers are winning 20 to 10. You know that makes me happy. I think I just bent my. No, oh, I think we're good. Right? Mags Reese are gorgeous. Uh, Meg, I have not seen another live. <laughs> sorry guys packer fan all the way can't help it can't help it Friends with some Bears fans. Hey, Sammy. Some teams are lines we don't <laughs> we don't really know. They weren't always a bad team. And I'm sure they won't always be. Oh, here comes Griffey. What you want? Huh? Full belly, now you need to come out and sniff the yard. Oh. Cut that noise out, Sherry. Turn on your dang earbuds, girl. We're cutting wood here. like listening to the ocean or a rainstorm or whatever. This is my solace, girlfriend. It sounds like money. Hopefully. You never count your chickens before they hatch. Otherwise you get scrambled eggs. So 
sounds like your husband's crying. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. I appreciate that. Right, Cherry? They are stinking cute. Here's what they look like when they're all cut out. <laughs> Not the ocean. Come on, you guys. What kind of friends are you? Hey, LaDonna. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. Pretty soon I'm going to... i got to figure out a day, guys. I have a ton of inventory in our trailer. And I need to do kind of like a look what we got. Here's a link kind of thing. Um, to try to move some of it because I, I haven't promoted much of it at all. You can't hear the machine, right? See? That's fine. See? Just gotta do something else. Thanks, Marsha. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, they are too. But we'll pull everything out and kind of show you in person. on Etsy there's a few things that are not on Etsy um, but I mean you know when you're shopping for something and Christmas coming up you know you kind of want that to see it in somebody's hands type of thing so I mean it gets posted on Facebook every once in a while or you know it automates so something switches up every day and um, but and I do have some things that are not on the website Because for a while I didn't um, have any boxes that the things would fit in. So, but yeah, kind of like a live sale, I guess. I've never done one before, but we might have to do one of those. Try to push some things out. Try to give people different ideas for a gift or whatever. busy creating I forget about the promotion stuff inventory has been selling yeah it's the stuff I don't have listed otherwise right yeah so get ready guys sometime this week I'm just gonna open up the trailer and pull out a few totes and just kind of go with it for everybody next to this packing our trailer big show oh that's right Leah I hope you sell out I really do <laughs> just broke um i did get all the crosses done so unless there's a custom order i won't be cutting any more but i just saw um charles deering had posted some really beautiful crosses cross patterns i'm thinking of trying them but i'm not sure they're pretty intricate
But yeah, my aunt didn't come this weekend, so I still have two crosses left. So I'm going to post those. I'll get them put on Etsy tonight. for the snowman they're gonna be ten dollars plus shipping um they're gonna have a backboard on them so the backboard will be colored either red or blue uh, probably blue so it'll be wood dye not paint I know, Sherry, I know. I missed the touchdowns, but I got the score update, so it's all right. I was watching earlier hooting and hollering out here in my shop. But yeah, I mean, when they're on it, they're on it. do you do with scrap wood it depends if i can't use it again uh, trudy it gets um burned it goes in my fire pit no backing on they're just painted yes they would kathleen all you would have to do is you know put two holes up here instead of one and then string the rope through there Oh, necklaces and earrings. Yeah, John. Kinda sorta, John. Kinda sorta. If I if I'm not gonna do anything with it and it's just gonna sit here, yeah, it's gotta go. I I don't I don't have a patient. And my shop is too small to be storing too much stuff. I used to keep every little tiny piece of scrap wood over you know two three inches, and now I just it goes. <laughs> I, uh, I stopped making really tiny stuff because all it did was sit here for a long time and I had to cart it everywhere, lug it from here to there, so move it out of my way. Now it just goes.
how are you? Girl, I need to message you. Seriously. Oh, I'm just going to tell you. Okay, are you listening? Because I keep forgetting to message you. I need keychains. A little square with my logo on it. Since my logo is square. Oh, oh Griffin. Hey Debbie, how are ya? Guys, if you're new, please like and follow. Um, I, I'm on a mission to hit 2,000 by the end of the year. Yes, please message me later because I have the a terrible memory. I just forget. Just got done with the vendor show. I hope it was successful. What you need, Rye? Nothing? What? Uh, for like a half an hour and that's it because you guys got to shower, chill out, go to bed, all that jazz. 30 minutes. Don't be late. Well, that's good. It wasn't bad. I know there are some shows where it's just like, why did I waste my money to go here? And others are like, holy cow, I should have brought more stuff. Anybody else do craft shows? Or vendor shows? Whatever you want to call them. Yes, Joanne, yes. I'll take it. Mitzi, you've got one on the 23rd. Joanne, you go to them. I have three scheduled and they're all... Oh, no, Trudy. I hate that. I mean... I get it, but last minute stuff, no. I, I... And you plan your whole life around things like that, you know. I mean, but then again, you can't you can't base your whole business off craft shows because you'll never get anywhere. You haven't scheduled any since. I bet not. Oh, that's good, Stacy.
events between the 16th and Black Friday weekend. <laughs> yes, Joanne. That, yeah, that's a good, I'm glad you were able to get that spot at the pharmacy, Trudy. I haven't tried to sell at any of the boutiques or anything here, little stores. Yeah, I don't even bother um, selling on Facebook Marketplace. I get a lot of, like, laughing emojis and uh, I can make that for less. I just respond with, that's great. Will you send me a picture? Let me, let me know um, how much your supplies cost. And uh, you can't go to Dollar Tree for them either. Nice, Sherry. That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm assuming you're going to do it. Yeah, I had somebody come up to me at a craft show once and say, oh, you know, she's taking a picture of my wreath. And I said, um, it'll look prettier on your front door. And she said, oh, I, I'm just getting an idea. I'm going to make it for less. And I said, absolutely, send me a picture. And then let me know if you, when you buy your supplies from top retailers, how much it is. She, uh, was not happy when she left my booth. But you know what? Somebody overheard that conversation, and I don't care. It's my business. And uh, somebody overheard the conversation. Somebody was in my booth, and some lady said, I'm going to pay what you're going to sell it for. And the other lady just kind of looked at her and got off and walked away. And bam, they up, actually, they sales, so I she got it. Yeah, I don't really um, suffer fools. I don't really care for them. I ain't got time for that. I don't do drama. You can make it for less. Go right ahead. There you go, Stacy. Half the time they don't listen anyway. This is going to be our last cut. show you it's just for to protect my thumb because I'm constantly touching this blade underneath the table when I reattach it so I I'll show you it's not broken it's not hurt it's just something I put on here so that my my thumb doesn't get all cut up see it's perfectly fine guys <laughs> um, you'll see me use it a lot especially if I'm taking the blade in and out all the time and when I when I put the blade down here I'm actually touching about right here on the blade, but on the bottom. So it's, it looks the same as this, but my finger's here. So it's constantly touching the saw teeth. 
But uh, it just protects my thumb from getting all chewed up. But seriously, I'm good. All right. Let me zoom you back up. And then you'll kind of see what I did here. <sighs> that knuckle I hit on the fryer box at Quick Trip. Um, let me go like this. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I am super rough on my hands. This I got on the fryer box at work. So that one did have a band-aid the other day. Um, those flipping fryer boxes are super sharp. So that's what they look like. Can you guys see? That's what they look like on the back. Obviously, I'll cut out the snowmen, but what I'm going to do... I don't know if I got a piece down here. Is I'm going to take some 1 8 inch after I get all the inside cuts done, I'll take a sheet the same size as this and I'll put it on the back, tape it on, and then I'll cut out the cut out each snowman so that I have um, so that I have it exactly the same. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks, Christine. Yeah, it is what it is, Mitzi. I mean. I'm not a big complainer. I just kind of keep going and like my husband's like, you should really take it easy for a couple of days. And I'm like, uh, no, I can't. I got stuff I got to make, you know, my busy season is coming up. Oh, just one day a week, Sherry. Actually it's during, um, I'm there two to eight on Thursdays, which is why I'm not in a design class. I only pop on for like two seconds when I take a break. I just pop in to say hi to everybody and then I'm done. But yeah, so once once all these inside cuts are out, I'll put two pieces of one eighth on the back and then cut around all the snowmen. And then I have backer boards for each ornament. Thanks, Nancy. Where's Jesse? Oh, please. My dog is jumping and waving. What are you doing? What are you doing with that? All right, guys, Griffin was all tangled up. Me too, Pamela. I'm sorry, I said hold, please. What is the Christmas tree beside me? This. So this was another pattern I was working on. Um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be scrap wood, actually. Let me scooch this back a little. So it's a luminary, kind of. I mean, you can't, so it's it's supposed to sit like this, and then you put lights. I don't think. <clears throat> I don't have them. I don't know what I did with them. There's a, two um, little feet that go to it. And it sits kind of like this. And then you can put glue fairy lights to the back so that it lights up but um the lines were super small and i was using the wrong blade and i was distracted um that's how this pattern is what started my back hurting the other day <laughs> i try mary <coughs> yeah i'm not sure what i'm going to do with them yet I might just put another piece of one eighth on the back and cut around it and then have it have a backboard instead, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the I, like I said, I was using the wrong blades here, so the scarf isn't really supposed to look like that. But we'll see. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. They're, they're in the I don't know pile. Oh, 
well, here's the here's one of the legs. So this kind of just fits right in here, and then they stand up with each other. Don't throw it away. Yeah, I'm not sure, Sharon, what I'm going to do with it yet. It's, like I said, it's in the I don't know yet pile, and let me see what I can do with them pile. So, I mean, the outside alone took almost 15 minutes to cut. Because I actually took my time with that. So like you said, they're in the I don't know pile and they'll stay like that. <laughs> Obviously we would buy them. Yeah, I might, I mean, they're made out of a lot thinner wood than like the deer and the gnomes and the Santas and stuff. So, I mean, I guess it's a lot more work than the gnome because of all the little tiny cuts, but... I might be able to put them on a full sheet and cut around the tree part and then just make a backer for them and they could be a wall hanging. Yeah, I usually do, Sharon. Glue it to glass. Oh, I know, Sherry. It's just... Like I said, they're in the I don't know pile, so I'll figure out something to do with them. I mean, it really has to like be totally broken before I'll actually throw it away. There's been a couple patterns where I've messed them up or, or they got broke for whatever reason. And I just kind of reuse them for, in a different way. So like there's, there's another pattern here, sitting here somewhere. And I kind of just said, Oh yeah, I'm done with that one. Too. What did I do with it? Oh, this one. Probably not, Mary. And I've done that before where I just kind of do it. This piece broke here. I'm still going to cut this out because I don't think I really need that piece and I'm not so worried about it, but. Put the feet on a, you guys want to paint that all by yourself? DIY it? I could probably do that. Sell them as DIYs. Do the mayor green monster, as some say. Technically, Melissa, I can't. Um, there's there's a whole lot of different laws about that, and I can lose my license. Although it would be pretty cool. I actually made like um, a green monster hand holding an ornament. I never did anything with them. They're sitting up there. Sherry, I'm always tired. I did not sleep very good last night at all. I um didn't fall to sleep till like 1.30 and then I tossed and turned and I couldn't, couldn't get comfy the rest of the night. So I have these, but they're not finished. And... I was going to hand paint them, but guys, I don't have the patience for hand painting. I hand painted Angie's little tiny snowman last night and he turned out super stinking cute. I have two of these, but like I said, they're not finished, but if somebody wanted to DIY paint them, I would, I would sell them. Thank you, Pamela. Yeah. Just shoot me a message whenever you want. But I posted him earlier. This is Angie's. He turned out super stinking cute. He's going to go on our porch. Sherry, are you signed up for the text alerts? You should have got one. I sent it to everybody. Those are cute, cute. Thank you, guys. Yeah, the snowman turned out super cute. Uh, Angie sells them at watermansloft.com. They're the snowman wreath attachment. Um, they're like 13 by 9 or something. Let me see here. Yes, I did the other day when you posted it. Hang on, let me check. Um, normally I do it all on my phone, but let me check. I can look at the computer for a second here.
Uh, I'm not seeing you, Sherry. You're not on there, girlfriend. Yeah, it'll automatically send you a text, and if you don't click that link that it sends you the second time, you've got a big old long response. Yeah, send me a picture. I'm totally new to this texting thing, but I don't even see you on my list. I don't see you on there, girl. Let me make sure it's not somewhere else weird. Mm -mm. I don't have you. Yeah, send me a picture. Otherwise, just retext it, and then when it sends you an automated response, or if you still have the automated response it sent you the first time, who's coming on next? Did you say? Oh, uh, design with Scott. Scott's gonna be decorating his Christmas trees. Yeah, her owl is super cute, Mary. When I hit the link now, it says page not found. Yeah, I just re I would retext the number 608-336-4439. Retext that number and um, it should make it do what you need it to do. Yeah, Julie didn't do that the first time either. She's like, I tried to sign up. But all right, guys, Scott should be on in about three minutes. He's going on at six. He's decorating the trees. Angie should be there. Um, yeah, it should be fun. He's got 15 trees in his house. I don't know how many he's going to get to decorate, but we'll have to, we'll have to watch and see. So I'll, it, uh, if you guys are over there, I'll be, I'll be in the comments. Uh oh, somebody sent me an angry face. What? Who sent me an angry face? Julie McCoy, did you send me an angry face? <laughs> All right, guys, you, I don't care if you sent an angry face. It's fine. It was probably about something I was talking about. Pro oh, probably about um, when I was talking about the grumpy people at the... Yeah, go pack go, Rebecca. I'm going to take a break, John. My back needs a break, so. But I will, I will be scrolling. I might come back out here tonight and scroll a little bit if, if it's, if I'm not in too much pain, but I don't want to overdo it. Okay. I just did a new one. Let me check it. Let me check it. It should text you right back and then you should have to reply. There's Sherry right there. I see you now, girl. Let me send you a message and see if it works. Shh, Patriots. John, move along with that stuff. Move along. Just tell me if you got a message, Sherry. All right, guys, Scott should be coming on in a second. You love Tom Brady? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you like who you like, and it's all fine. Ooh, fourth quarter, still got 10 minutes to go. Okay, perfect, Sherry, so you're all good. Just joining your trucks. Thanks, Phyllis. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, sprinkle, spread the love. Um, I'll be on tomorrow morning at 8, walking. Um, if my husband's home... Well, if you want to cheer for the green and go, it has to be Eskimos. Oh, boy. Um, I'll be walking tomorrow morning at 8 in the morning, Central Time. So come along and walk with me, chit-chat, start our day, get motivated, all those things. All right, guys, you guys have a good night. I'll see you over on Design with Scott.
Night, y'all.